Well, welcome back. Been a while, about a month. Balmy day in northwestern Ohio on December the, uh, what is today, the 9th. It's about 50 degrees out right now. It's sunny. So, not much for winter. But anyway, the reason of this video is to show you what I've been doing with the truck. Not much. Um, I was sick uh, for about two and a half weeks so I didn't get out here and do anything and then I just been lazy <clears throat> but I did come out the other day and placed the hinges and in and what I did is I spot welded them but I want to show you what uh, I've come up with I, I, my plan was to originally was to cut this out all right and then put a piece of flat steel behind this weld it in place and then set the hinge inside that slot that i cut out i thought well maybe i can just tuck them back behind it and tack them in place and then remove this whole piece here and uh, turn it over then i could drill holes through it and mount them that way. Well, it sounds good, but I ran into some issues. So let me show you. I got the door here up on its holder. So I'm gonna put it in place and then I'll show you what happens when I go to try to shut it. But um, try to do this live if I can. Raise this up a bit. So it's nice with the engine lift that you can put your door where you want it. I mean, it's not that heavy of a door, but I can fiddle with it a little bit easier that way. So let me bring you around the other side here and we'll show you how the pins hook in. And, um, then I'll show you how the door shuts. So hopefully we can see this with a, got my back door open here so get a little bit of light in here. But uh, anyway, you can see the two hinges. You can see that bottom hinge and there's the top hinge. So let me get that in place. Had it in place the other night. You see, it slides into place pretty easy. I eventually got the hinges in the right spot. You had kind of an issue, you know, you put them in here and they get cocked just a little bit, they won't fit. So I, I got this one in, welded it. I had this one welded too, and then I cut it loose. And then I thought, well, let's just put this one in and then pin this one and then tack it. But now you see it's on there. Lower my lift so that the door is hanging on the hinges. Now the door has been gutted, so the door is not that heavy. But uh, I'll show you the issue after I... Uh, let me grab the phone here and try not to be too wiggly. But do you see the striker plate here? And that slot is where it's supposed to go. You see how it's not hitting? Now, if I lift up on the door, I can shut it. But you can see your um, these lines here don't line up. One is dropped, and obviously the door drops when it's opening. You see how it drops. So, but I'll show you the front lines that I have are pretty good. See, the line is, it looks really nice. 
It's a little bit tight, maybe right here, but around the top, it's not bad. But as you come down it, starting to white starts to widen out and you get down here and the door is just barely covering the edge of the cab so the plan is we're going to go with what I was going to do in the first place I'm going to pull that off this piece inside here that uh, pillar that I put in and it's going to come out and then I will cut the slots and um, weld those pieces in behind it and then place the hinges in front drill some holes and I'm gonna have to maybe tack them into place in order so I can get them lined up because I don't want to drill holes and then one of them is cocked up just a smidgen or down a smidgen. A guy could take and waller out the holes, I guess, to make you give a little bit of room slop. And I may end up doing that because it gets just too precise if you have the four holes. But, you know, back in the day when they mounted these on a pillar of wood, Obviously, there was no slop in that wood. They screwed in the holes, and that's where they sit. So I'm going to try to replicate that a little bit. But anyway, I'll bring you along as we get into this. So anyway, just that's what we've been doing so far. So let me uh, get this around, get that door off, and get that pillar out, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All righty, we got the door pillar out, and you can see what I have done here. These were welded, and what I did is I uh, clamped these tight when I tack welded them on the outside, so they were laying flat, and so that's good. Um, so what I got to do now is mark on here where this is going to be, and then I will cut those tacks loose, and... Um, yeah, and then we'll just get a piece of, uh, I don't have any flat steel in here, but you get the idea. I'll put a piece about that long, wider than this angle, actually. And uh, we will, after the slot's cut, weld this in there. In fact, I could probably use that, that piece of angle iron there. I could do both of those. I got some pieces up here. And just weld those into place, and uh, that would give it a little bit more stiffness, too. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea, especially right where the hinges are at. And, uh, you know, weld that in place. And then we're going to drill the holes through here first before we take the uh, hinges off. Okay, that way we'll get those fitted properly for the door. So I shouldn't have any issues. Well, that ain't going to make no difference because I'm going to cut that out of there. Duh. All right. So scratch that idea. So anyway, we'll get her figured out. I'll bring you back when I get some more. Well, here's what I was talking about. Um, see, I've cut a piece. This angle is a, is a piece of this. It's a two by two angle. And I cut it down. An inch on the side because of the the curvature of the panel if you leave it at two inches it'll hit the panel because this is anyway um, what I did is I left the hinge on there marked it you can see and I drilled the holes now what I'm gonna do I did the same on this one I've got it in the vise so I'm gonna take it out but I'm gonna weld this piece of angle iron in here okay then I will turn it over, then I can, I've got my holes already spotted. So I can drill it through this piece. Then I will carefully cut this out, all right? So my plate behind it, which I'm going to use, where's that? 
<laughs> yeah, this one's gonna have to be cut down too here. It's too big. It's a piece of scrap. Um, I might get a bigger one because there's the edge of my hinge. It just barely covers it, so. But anyway, that's the idea. And then we will put holes through here. This will be fixed into place. I cut the slot. Oops, I cut the slot and then so that hinge should mate right up to those holes. That's the, the idea anyway. There's my holes drilled in my pillar support, okay? Like I said, well, these were drilled in here before, but anyway, I've got the angles welded on the bottom. And um, what I am going to do now is there's little notches that I made on the edge of these um, hinge. Let me get, get a hinge here for you. And uh, I don't know if it makes any difference, but you kind of get the idea there. But that will be cut out, and so it will sit down on top of this angle underneath here. That's the plan, and it's the same way with this here. And then what I'll do is I'll weld in some nuts behind each one of these holes so that all I got to do is thread the screw into it and uh, keep, hopefully everything will line up. Well, there it is. This is the top hinge here. And you can kind of see the recess, what I was talking about with the bolt holes. And you can kind of see it sets the prow just a little bit. Not much, but it's recessed down in there. And I did give it some wiggle room so that, you know, you can adjust a little bit. Uh, the holes are chamfered. And so uh, the screws that I use will center the uh, hole. And so I don't know what kind of wiggle room I'm going to get with this the bottom hinge but it, or the top hinge but it's the same difference um but yeah you can see everything is fitting I actually had a little space that's uh, the angle here didn't go all the way over to the edge uh, underneath it but that's that's fine and then i took in each corner because i had to use a uh, cutoff wheel this uh grinder here with a cutoff wheel to, to cut that out that was tricky because you didn't want to cut into this piece of angle underneath it so you just had to lightly keep going and keep going of course going back here at the corners you know it's like the wheels around so you got to go a little bit further each way in order to cut through it so but anyway then i just touched it up with some weld put in there but it's done now for the test well, I got, I'm not done yet. I got to weld nuts to the back side of it yet. So once I get those in there, then, of course, I have to find some screws that will fit. But anyway, the next thing is getting that done. Well, we've got them mounted. I'm not real happy with them. I don't think they'll fit. I think we're going to have to do some serious tweaking in the holes, making them a little bit bigger to, so we can get a little bit more wiggle room. Um, you can just kind of see they don't center up very well at all in the hole. Uh, I was going with a quarter inch, um, but I don't like that. And I just purchased some a whole pack of these uh, 5 16 stainless steel you know, slotted head screws. And so I think 5 16 will be better, but you can see they sit pretty proud. So we will have to definitely do some chamfering around the holes to recess those in a lot more. Um, the holes in the hinge, I think are gonna have to be enlarged a bit just to give it a little bit of play. And I mean, on a normal door hinge, you do have that a little bit of play so that you can adjust it. So. But this is the uh, final um, way it's going to look. Like I said, right now, this back of the hinge is sitting up a little high. 
I haven't drilled these holes out to the 5 16 or it'll be a little bit bigger than 5 16 I don't know what I'll go but uh, anyway we'll probably go to maybe 11 30 seconds or something along that line but they're there and uh, finished up welding this sealing it up and everything so it's it's you know it's good oops but that's what we have i will uh at the end of the day today and i will pick this up maybe tomorrow we'll see thanks for watching